How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Zeke here, and we are back with some Factorio. Okay, so, last time, we set up a few defenses. Not too many. We really need to set up more. We got attacked down here. I think that, yeah, that had to have come from there. <laughs> oh, that was just scanned. <laughs> Looks maybe three, maybe four bases there. I think we can take it out on foot. I really need to see what's up here. But we did clear this, and this, and I still haven't decided where I want to put that stupid uh, train track, or the train rails. I could probably just put it here. I got a lot of room here. And then over here, I think I'm going to keep that for more of this facility. Yeah, more for iron. But I got to figure out exactly how I want to space it. Moving the mic. Okay, so my offline campaign hasn't been going on all that well, really, and it's not out of boredom or anything like that. It's just, well, <laughs> there are so many trees and so many lakes around, it's annoying to have to work with it so much, but I don't want to start over because I've gotten so far in it. I just don't know quite what I want to do just yet. And I think I'm going to get back. And a few more turrets. So that's an da, da, da. Let's go right there. And I got enough to make some walls. Don't need so much for the furnaces right now. Uh, there's 20. I think I was spending 25 on the rest of them. But we'll do with 20 right now. You know, I haven't even upgraded these. Wow. Let's pick you up. Make you that. Oh, man. You just need iron. And chips. Lots of chips. <laughs> Oops, still making the walls, but yeah, I need some chips, so we'll cancel that. And then big. Oh, man. Yeah, but you can see, all that coming through, and we still don't have anywhere near enough iron to come down. Uh, and <laughs> I've only got four steel factories working. Just that right there, but that's... That's really not much of my production and whatnot coming off. How often is it going on this side? Not very often, and it seems to pick from the side first. Wow. <laughs> okay. So we got that down. We have got to start upgrading these. So now red's working at as fast as I can do it right now. These aren't working too fast. I don't think I need them all that much. You know what? Let's go ahead and update them. Might as well. Particularly that one. It's moving fastest. <sighs> don't need to worry about these. They're going fast. Plenty fast enough. Ugh, I need so much more iron. Oh, I got these. Oh. I didn't even know that button existed. <laughs> well, I just learned something today about a game I play constantly. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, da -da -ding, ding, da -ding, and B. Okay. Oh, no, not you. Phew. Here. 
I don't know why I grabbed that when there's that one down there. But, oh well. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm probably not doing the best of jobs right here because I haven't exactly future-proofed this side. <sighs> Which just means it won't work for me later on, and I'll admit, I don't really want to do all that work. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to all that work. But I'm hoping I don't have to do too much. Uh, at least give this some time to go away, which... According to this, that's still got a decent amount. And even at the speed I'm using that, that's going to take a while. But we can make rail. And that's really what I need right now. I'm gonna need iron, or not iron, but steel. So I'll have to turn these on and literally extend this all the way down, or at least get it to a certain point because I also need stone, just plain stone. So, I uh, should probably get something to lead this all the way up here. Oh, I got one. Come here, you. And because I'm not too worried about speed. Oops. Ding ding. I do need to go pick up more though. I think these are the last five I got. Yep, that's five. Easy pickup though, since I got a line of it here. And once I get some of that iron over there coming in, I will definitely start another. Uh, a factory specifically meant to make these and the red versions as well as some chips and we'll call that area chip way I'll show you what I'm gonna do if I ever get to this episode well, let's continue this all the way up we're gonna go right beside this no we're gonna go here I have no idea how far we're going to go up, but we're going to go up. Whoop. Zoom out and I didn't move the mouse. Now, if you're wondering, if I ever get an upgraded in pickaxe, that would be this right here, which not only gives me increased mining speed, but also allows me to pick stuff like this up quicker and easier. Yes, you do, and you get it as soon as you would steal. Alright. In case you're wondering if, you know, Picking things up or cutting things down gets any faster. It, it does. It's just I have to get it. Okay. Uh, what I'll need for rail. So I'm gonna need one iron stick, and one iron stick is gonna cost. So one plate will give me two iron sticks. So I only need one of these uh, one assembly machine to keep up with this for making a single rail because it's gonna take three to make the rail all right but I have to turn those on so it'll probably be a while or at least uh, I'm gonna cut this off for now way more iron gets down there and I can turn on a couple more of these there we go uh, that'll, that'll get me a little bit more coming down now the problem is where the heck am I gonna make iron sticks uh, iron plates Oh boy. Alright. So now we have the automated rail transport. This gives us the train stop. And what that does is, it actually is what you need to make a station with. Or at least, you know, give the train, hey, stop here. And here's your, here's your, uh, 
I I'll show you. It's I can't think today. <laughs> when can I ever think? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, probably gonna need a few more chips. Oh man. Do I have... Yeah, I probably need to get some of these up and rearrange this. Maybe to find some way to get more throughput. You know what? I'm going to do that. Get, get some extra steel. Turn that off for now. Don't quite need it. Just yet. Come on. What am I missing? Probably from steel, obviously. Yeah, it has to be steel. There we go. Though again, I am low on iron. Now the best part is if I ever need gears, I got a whole ton of it here. Which I probably need to turn guys off there we go just one going on for now will be will be good enough or better yet see what I mean <laughs> this one popped it over here then this one popped it right over here oh it's always funny and that's me hitting G instead of F F will pick it up off the ground G I have absolutely no idea what G does <laughs> okay I'm gonna speed it up here and figure out I condense this and get a little bit more throughput so be right back and unfortunately this will be the only post commentary in this entire video no other real speed ups uh, I try to get as much in and there as I can but even in the gaps I, I kind of talk a little too soon or there's something I'm muttering under my breath uh, you might be able to hear it you might not but this episode turns out to be very long I do so apologize about that if anybody hates long episodes um it's not that it couldn't be helped, it's just so much happened at one at one point. Pretty much at the end. I got the railroad system, I needed to I really needed to think about how to set it up, how to do all that that I needed to do, because my offline campaign, that was the biggest pain in the ass. And I'm not kidding, was getting the railway set up. But the reason for the uh, offline campaign, um, it wasn't because it was a normal pain in the ass, it was because Oh, I was, like I said, bad positioning on the water, the forest. Uh, I eventually got that settled uh, settled down a bit, primarily because I grabbed a bunch of grenades, made them slowly over time, and just blew the hell up out of forests. Um, eventually got myself a nice start, or a nice little starting area for it, uh, for the basic setup, and I've been enjoying it ever since. And here. Uh, this obviously happened before I did all that, so I was I was wanting to get to that point really quickly so I could at least figure out, you know what, what do I need to do to actually make uh, a working railroad? Then it's like, crud, I'm probably also going to need to explain this because it's also rather, well, I wouldn't say difficult, but it, it does have its complexities, it, it, particularly when you start using multiple trains on the sim on the same rail. Uh, that's what I was trying to convey as much as possible and some of the things I plan to do. But best way to do that is to show you as I do them. Right now I'm not going to worry about too overly complicated stuff. Um, I'm just going to try to figure out where to expand, how do I need to build it, and I'll probably plan a lot of this offline. Uh, I'm not going to actually go around putting the blueprints down. You may see me do that in a sped up uh, post commentary, but I at least need to get planning. And here, this just irked me on <laughs> what I needed to do, but I finally, finally got it to where I like it, and I think I added about four to six more uh, extractors on there. So I did increase through, but I did hit my goal, just not quite how I wanted it. <laughs> Need more range on those uh, power lines. Anyway, past me's coming back. Later, guys.
Okay, so not exactly pretty, but I did manage to get four or so, four to six extra extractors on here. And yeah, <laughs> that actually did increase the production a decent bit. But then again, we did have quite a bit of it off. So let's say we turn some of this back on. And I can probably make This here. There we go. And if this somehow does not make enough for uh, the rails, we can even turn this into a blue one. Let's turn these things in the correct direction. Iron plates. Yeah, okay, we have plenty. <laughs> Alrighty, ready, ready, ready. I'll need a couple more of those. Oh man, where am I going to put this thing? Alrighty, hit that. Looks like we need to make a few microchips. I'm short on supplies yet again. Go figure. Gimme, 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 nom 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 nom. Okay, got enough iron for now. Get some copper. Definitely gonna need some chips and some gears. Oh, look, chips are already done here. Now, if you are somewhat suffering on gears and you don't want to have like a separate gear factory, you could flip these and. I don't know. If you get this just right, or at least once you get to this level, you. Uh, for power. You can probably space these out just a little bit more and use a splitter and get these on the other side and have it a two lane all the way down. And you, know, you get yourself a some gear makers without really having to set up a second factory, but that's just personal use more than setting up something for something else to use. Alrighty. Let's get this over here. Let's pick you back up and set you there. And let's just pick you up and set you like that so I can actually use it. And I won't need you. Alright. Uh, crud. Oh, I can actually just do that. There. That far. Or that far. Alrighty. There, make a wooden thing, and boom. Okay, so stone it can't keep up on. So, I have no idea what I just grabbed there. There. And we're not going to worry about setting it as a stop because we're going to need a lot of. You know what? Let's. Let's actually set this thing at a stop, this way we're not using up too much of our early resources, but eventually we're not going to stop it. So these things stack into 200, so there's 200, there's 400, 
actually think they stop at a at a hundred or two hundred. Oh, we'll see. That should be good for now. At least we're setting up something decent. So we got the railway started. Oh crud. We need engines. Engines can only be built in level two and three pre uh, assembly machines. Hmm. Ain't that a kick in the head? Okay, uh, I want to get this on a splitter, just cause. I have a backup. How are you doing on coal? Wow, I'm actually out of those. I don't really care much for all that now. We're probably not going to need too much more than this. And we're going to leave that there for backup. That is a steel chest. There are bigger chests, I believe. There's also all kinds of other chests. Uh, it's actually... I think I can actually get to it right now. Yeah, circuit network. Eventually you can start getting into... Like, chests that deal with circuitry, red wire, green wire, that are on networks. I have absolutely no idea how that works. Think Minecraft and redstone, but... You also have redstone, you have greenstone, it leaves their own trails, their own signal networks, all kinds of stuff like that. And the technical side of this thing is, uh... <laughs> it leaves me going, like, uh, what does this mean? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Woo! That's backing up. Wow. Let's get everything full blast here. What can you say? Actually. Let's go one step beyond full blast. And get this going. Why is nothing moving? I'm going to have to look back in the recording and see just how long I've been doing nothing. <laughs> well, at least I'm stocked up. <laughs> oh, man, at least I'm stocked up. Whew. I might as well get all of the train networks. This way it gives me rail chain signal, rail signal, which... Rail chain signal, that's a new one to me. I remember this one because this one allows you to... Say, hey, if this light's on because it senses a train, it gives a red light. The train can't come in. It's good for making stations. But I don't know what the tra uh, change signal is. But that explains why we backed up. Which, hey, I am not complaining. That is a big old back up there. That means... We get resources for quite some time. You know what? Let's make another splitter. He's had to be there. This way I can back up in here. Just just get more for a backup. That's all I want here. Because oh. the longer this takes to get down to here and get used up, the better for me. For now. Alright, alright, what's next? Really? I need to put back those guns. That's, <laughs> that's the big thing I need to do right now. Put back the cannons that defend it. Oh, so we already had 25. Okay, I'll put that there. Ah. Hmm. Alright, alright. Alright, so that's the base. Decent bit of protection. Around and around in here is where we're vulnerable. Oh, man. 
But we do have a wall leading over here to that. I need to... I need to make underground belts. Please tell me they're these. And as much as I need gears. I need to set up the long transports now, but I need a little bit. Well, I got a ton of steel here. Huh. So it is 200. Okay. There we go. That'll keep them on a little longer. That'll give me a backup in case I need to come and use it anytime. That'll come in big handies. Alright, so let's turn this on. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, let's get 500. Alright, I need to... Grab those. Okay, uh, we'll do this steel thing later, but I really, really need to get down here. Finish the wall segment that I made, because there's actually places they can come in through the belts. Which, the belts still aren't safe out here, because they can, can and will attack your belt. But it's just a little bit more safe. Than what it used to be. I need a door. There we go. <sighs> now I'll probably make another break down here. And just flink all the way up along this on the back side of it. This way it can be protected. Have the gun turrets in there. All the way up. But I'm not quite sure where I want to put the steel. I need to... If I'm putting all the steel over here, or all the, all the iron, the production over here, that means I need a place where... Uh, it can deposit all the iron over here for the... Uh, for the, the factories, the, the smelteries to get all that produ uh, produced without a long wait. If I put it over here, I've got to track it all the way through here, all kinds of underground belts. It's going to be a hassle. But over there, I do have more space. Uh, I do. I got, I got a lot of space up here. I just got to clear out the trees of protection. And it's still going down there. I can barely see it. The screen's kind of dull. I do got a lot of coal over here as well, so once that coal's used up, I can pop that one up. I don't even think I'm tapping this thing to its fullest. No, I'm not even able to use all of it. I even got the second set of engines up. And everything's just nice and calm. That is a good thing about having an excess amount of power. These don't burn as fast. Though with as many of them as you have as you would have, they probably would burn overall quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just gonna put the rail work up here. Now I need to figure out how to future proof this, because I have not even got into that on my current offline campaign, which I truly, truly need to do. And I have no idea how long this this current episode is going on. It's late at night. My internet's off because of a freaking worm that's going around. And that Windows thing. I have words, I just can't use them. <laughs> Let's just say I'm being overprotective. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more granadas. And I'm gonna clear out this forest. It looked at me funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna clear out this side. If I click the right button. Ah, 
Now, if you actually got wood from this, this would be like the ultimate way to cut down the forest. <laughs> and just get the resources from it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we have uh, officially cleared quite a bit, and I really need to wait today just to see just how much I've cleared. Most of the other stuff, I'm not even going to waste a grenade on, like this single tree. We're almost out of a thing, so. Now check this out. Mining power, 2.5. Damage, 5. Durability of 4,000. The mining power is how fast it can mine something, take it down, or even pick it up if it's a building or object. This one is not quite double it, but it does it much faster. It also has a thousand extra durability. So it lasts a little longer. I don't know if the damage is something that... Uh... Go ahead and give fun. I don't know if you can actually melee something with this or... Hold on a second. It's an easy scene. I don't know if you can actually bash something to death with them, or just, you know, uh, da, 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 that's just like when you attack a tree as well. Now we got those. Smack. One hit. One shot. So let's go ahead and get these minor trees out of the way. Which I'm going to speed this part up, and so we can get to the station. The station, I'm going to call the episode... I hope I have at least 25 minutes at bare, bare minimum. I try to do at least 30 minute episodes. Sometimes I get into hours without me noticing. <laughs> but I hope I'm at least entertaining you guys for a few hours. All right. Okay, so I'm not gonna speed that up because that was actually already done. Well, you dirty bastards. Still, it's a lot faster with the steel pick. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about that tree. It's too close to base. I am going just going to get some steel. What do I need steel for? I don't know. I need steel for everything. Now I need iron plates. Okay. Uh, I need steel gear. I need a, uh, iron gear, steel plate. You know, it's it says plate, but it's actually a, a beam icon. And I need two pipes. Oh man. I get the gears here. I can make uh, the pipes over here, but I'd have to shove all that over here to the steel. Yeah. Seriously. Er. Okay, so we're gonna put you here. We're gonna put you here. No. Here. A couple of those. Put output. I need a few of those. I am gonna have to come down here. Grab all the chips first. Huh? Whoops! When did that happen? Okay, so this... I think we only got like one research done this whole episode. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, but today's been a bad day for research. Ah! 
All right. Oh, by the way, don't make your factories like I'm doing it. I'm doing it horribly. But I, I, I just consider this a temporary factory at best. So that's why I'm allowing myself to do it this way. I try to tell myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, get you there. All right. So one, two, three, four. Gears. 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 Uh, engines. Right, so give me a box. I'm using these because. It may, they go to a stack of 50, and I don't need any more than 50. For now. Okay, it's good to steal in that. All right, so splitter, and even more of those things. There we go. So it's gonna pump out an engine very, very slowly. Uh, it takes 10 seconds in there. Tells me it takes 10 seconds, so that'll do it a little longer than 10 seconds. <clears throat> Woo! Okay, so I'm going to expand this completely now. Uh, I need more iron brick. Must be even more steel. Gotta go way down here. Do I? Yeah. I'm gonna go way down here. I don't know why I'm going that way. <laughs> what the? Okay, for some reason the A was sticking. That's never happened. Hey man, you need a keyboard. Okay, so yeah, those two are doing just fine. Holy God. <laughs> that is a lot. You know what? I need another one of those. I don't think I have a useless chest, so stick you in there. I don't need that much. I need to put you back on the, on the thing. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. I have one of those. Okay, so I've got six. Another six or three, and that's gonna take another six. So five, six. Let's go ahead and set this up. All right. I'm actually going to go grab some of these inserters over here just to make sure because I'm, I'm out of here. It's just to make make it a lot faster. Half the work's done for me. I've got way too much, but me, I'll run through them fast. All right, so I've got 12 total. So 5, 10, 11, 12. I'll need 25, uh, 24, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wow, that's fast. Since I got everything. <laughs> Alright. Just putting on that. That. And uh, I was given a comment saying they don't know how I keep up with all these belts. It's, <laughs> it's really not all that hard. It's just knowing... It's just really, where do I want things to flow? It's kind of like making your own little rivers here. 
The best I can explain it. Oh. Guess if you think in a Minecraft way, you, you make rivers or whatnot for uh, moving the moving your stuff along the lines, or just anything you make, like crops or something like that, moving them down, having uh, something else, pick them up and dispensing them somewhere else, things like that. It's just kind of like that, I'll, I'll really. Once you get used to it, it's nothing. Takes a bit, I'll admit. But really, once you put them down, it's you know you don't have to remember where all of them is. It's just where's the last thing you put down, and where do you, where do you want to continue? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so iron production on this is at max. That is forty furnaces, furni, whatever you want to say, pushing out a ton of iron. You can just tell we are just sucking it down. But that also it's also kind of bad because we're using that much and I still don't have all my steel on. I still don't even have all the planned steel on and I've only got these working, not even at full potential. Uh why are you not producing anything? Ew, because I got you turned off. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> huh? Oh, ah, uh. <laughs> whoops, he was holding a damn rail. I was wondering why is there no steel going in and that red one had picked up one of the rails from there and was trying to stick it in there. Okay, 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 so we finally got all that set up, wow. At least it's still making it down there, for, that's good for now, but... We just lost all that. I really need to set up uh, red lines all the way down here for that. Oh, and I still have copper I need to dispense with. So, bing. And I got a lot of that. Alright. No, not that many. About that. There we go. Okay. Definitely wanted to come out through here, but I'm, I started thinking, like, how am I going to get the iron in? And I figured, for this one, I can bleed in over here, but for these guys, I need to figure out a, an entirely new system. Uh, I guess I could leave enough space here to have a, some splitters sent it this way, and then another... Oh! Uh, you need to put them in uh, the cargo wagons. And... For the cargo wagons, I... wow! I'll take you. Uh, what next? We do need a pump jack, but let's get the car for now. So this way we can get around plus attack things. So give me that car. It's an armored car. It's an armored doom buggy. Is what it looks like to me. But uh, like I say, we we'll get some splitter. Or I was thinking first we can get some splitters, send them down all kinds of lines, or we can do it by carts four carts four lines but I, I can here to tell you until we get stacker inserters one of these lines can take uh, the cart just a full cart and be hungry before it comes back granted with four lines doing that from four different carts I don't know if we'll actually be able to pump that much iron out for now as I said for now so, 
If we're coming in, we gotta make sure we... Yeah. So you place the thing, uh, thing down, whether it's the real thing or the blueprint. So let's start with the blueprint. Then we click that and we go this way. Now to make turns, you do that. Now the interesting part is those turns are actually classified as a single piece here, whereas this, whereas, uh, say I do that, that's only classified as one. And this is classified as multiple. But it's still putting down multiple ones of these. But those used to be the two types of rails you used to, you would put down back in the day. And I, I'd actually prefer that because this thing can be rather wonky. Okay. Now, I shouldn't... I wish it was day. You know what? We can go on the map. But this will easily hold four carts. Now, the question is, do I want them to ever have more than four? Like five or six? How many do I want to place down here? Or, I can keep it four carts and just add more lanes to unload and load off uh, by. But I've never done that, so I'm not entirely sure how much of a gap we're gonna need to leave between these to, so I can get those lines working I've never done that before so what we're going to do is let's get out of map first start this up and make it go this way that and then this way and if I'm just uh, in blueprint mode I can go literally my full site so eh. cancel cancel there we go get it Q for cancel that also puts anything in your hand back into the slot okay so if I have any more I can come down here I do this, do another line, let it connect to that in a uh, turn here, and it can get back onto this lane. And I would just use stoplights and all that to say, hey, if this guy's come, if someone's on this track, uh, then no one up here can go, kind of thing. Uh, that part I'm going to have to show you, because that part I'm going to have to work out. But if you ever played uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe or TTD, uh, it's a free game right now, Open TTD. It's completely free. It's an old school game, but it's still very fun. It, it, it's using the it uses the same principles as that game does. As a matter of fact, I think this game Factorio got a lot of inspiration from that. You know, I may want to actually make that go even higher. Might as well get it along this forest here. See what I mean by squirrely? Okay, so far. Again, too far. One down. Too far. Down again. You guys thought the belts were an annoying to deal with. Oh, let's get that. So I've got to... This out. You know what? Bye-bye. I think I need to go one more down. Well, I don't want to go clearing forest again, so let's go one more down again. <laughs> So that's actually me holding the shift button. And it seems to snap it a bit better, but it, it's still rather annoying. By the way, it will put an, an X on what you need to get rid of, so bye bye. And then I'll right click to get rid of all those. And then the rest, I figure out exactly how I want, where I want to trail it, how I want to make the network do I want to make it two lines one line I mean you can attach 
uh, an engine at this end, an engine at this end. Kind of like modern day trains, but instead of both facing the same direction, you can have them face opposite. Uh, this way, it can go in two different directions. Both engines can go either one way or the other way. It has no forward or back, so to say. It switches. And you can just keep it one lane, except for uh, little areas where, like say here, I make a, a spot that goes up this way, then down again, or just completely into that. But if it's like this way, it goes this way, it goes this way. So if a train can come in here, well, they're going this way, well, one goes this way, they don't crash and they can get around each other quite well. Or you can make it two lane, this way, that way, this way, that way, you know, like a road. It's all kinds of ways you can do it, and it's just however you prefer, or whatever seems to be easier for you to uh, figure out, or resource wise, or just, hell, yeah, go for cool. I don't, whatever, whatever makes you feel good. <laughs> now, there's no wrong way to do it, so long as it works. Un unless you're one of those people who are like min maxing efficient people. I'm somewhat like that, but mostly on certain strategy games. <laughs> Not constantly, though. So let's get some of those. Yeah, I've not figured out these, but yeah. Uh, train stops. So let's go ahead and make this a uh, reality here. So I'm going to set you here. Go boom. Why? There we go. And it only goes that far in those segments, which is rather annoying. Now, when you do these, make sure you don't get too close, because you may miss the t exact turn. And if you can't go enough into the turn itself, you got to really play with it, because you may not be able to... Like, if I make a tight turn like this, I I'd really have to play with it, because, like I said, it's really finicky, and I... I do wish they would bring the old way back and let me decide if I want to use this or the old tracks. I'd personally rather just use the old tracks. Like, it, it, instead of uh, making uh, the curve tracks have, be its own little item that you make using the same way you make a normal rail, uh, instead, you just turn so many of the straight rails and they just make a curve rail and you can do that in 0.5 seconds in your inventory that would actually be really really nice really far more efficient in my personal opinion than well just about any other way and I, like i said i cannot stand this whole new thing i, I just may be in the minority here it's just far less efficient to me or at least more unweirdly than it really needs to be. Maybe I'm just complaining. <laughs> I do that a lot. Uh, copper plate, that's what I'm missing. So, nom 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 Green is good. Okay. One, two. Give me those. All right, so these things are really nice. So I'm gonna pop that off. Set that down, and I'm just gonna go straight this way. Oop. Then I can just get rid of all these tier one ones and use them for you know anything I need that requires a tier one thing bing what did I just get done automobilism ah change my seats That'll probably come in handy. You know what? Let's go ahead and get that. Increase research speed. Right, so let's get rid of all these little excess frivolity things. Then pick up all those uh, lights that I'm going to have to replace. That is one of the big downsides, though. 
But you know what? Me. So I'll probably end up relighting everything off camera, and it'll probably be like right after. OCD. It'll probably be like right after I let everybody go. I want to get this little network here set up. Stop moving. Okay. thinking about leaving these here because it's doing all that but I will need to make this go all the way up so I can have something oh you gotta be kidding me it is literally just one too far off dang it There, get rid of you two. Oh man. Okay. So now I think. Yep. So I can set this bugger up here. As soon as I figure out where I want to get all this stuff set up. I want to set all the trains down, which I need to start by really setting down a locomotive. But I need to choose where I want this. Okay, now see where the arrows are pointing? That's the direction the train will be setting and facing. And the main one is this right here would be the train, the one right behind it, yeah, the carts and all that. It shows up to four, it seems. But uh, obviously these are places it can snap. So let's go ahead and snap it there. Now the interesting thing about these and even uh, research laboratories is when you click on them <laughs> random roast beef uh, these are actually people who have donated you know, back in the old day there were like three different levels fifteen dollars for the base game like four uh, thirty dollars for the next year 45 total for the final tier and he, uh, the final tier I believe it would put your name you have a random, it would put your name in like a random draw of everybody else who's done the same thing, and it would make train stations and research labs uh, out of their name. So it's really cool, but you always, unfortunately, you want to turn these off and name them something important. This way you can remember what they are. Let's say main hub. I can even change the color, which is something new, which is really cool. Um,. Now, this is where the train is going to come up and stop. It won't go past this point until uh, the next thing on its to-do list says go. Which... We have everything we need. Go ahead and make you... Do I have enough to make a car? Yes. I have enough to make that car. Ah, there's the thing. Okay. So now we got a car. <laughs> But let's focus on the train. But you can tell which way's the front. That that way's the front. So we set it here. This thing runs off any fuel source, but it goes through it really, really quickly. Now on any object that you can enter, you walk up to it, get close, and hit enter. With the return key. Now you can manually control it with the W with the W and S for a train. Uh, I believe if you have like the ability to go turn, turn, or straight. Uh, holding W, uh, A or D will change your course. I've not actually fiddled with that. What am I looking for now? Okay, I need more iron plates. I got enough steel for one. But, click here. We can tell the schedule. Manual means it won't go until, until we switch it automatic or we hop in. Automatic means, hey, it'll follow this. So, we want to add the main hub. I can do... How long does it stay there? Till time passed. Inventory full. Inventory empty. Item count. Circuit condition. Inactivity. Fluid count. Uh, I can actually go here and just say, hey, just 
go to the main hub and stay there. Bing. And voila, there it is. Now turn it off because it will sit there and consume fuel, I believe. So now it's here. I think it used to have a gun. I really think it used to have a gun. I can play with this color. It's all poiply. <laughs> Uh, trash, this means go to that station and, like, skip everything. Just go straight to there. But if you already passed it and you clicked it again and it has a way back around, it will, from that position, like, say here, go all the way on the track and come back. If it was, like, a complete circle. It would skip all the stations in there and just come back to this. Um, wait until, again, I could set all this. Uh trash and I can say and or and pop down even more conditions now I don't know how complicated you can make it uh, you can set it up into a network I'm not entirely sure how that works like I said I've not gotten into the whole network thing uh, let's place my car my purring beauty let's give her some ammo she already has an SMG vehicle gun doesn't say it's damage. Okay, so damage is in that, right? Yep, the damage is in the, uh, the ammo. So 8 plus 1.6. Not very much. Fifteen. Ten. It shoots faster than me. Huh. Both in base and modifier. That's interesting. The car is a little unwieldy. It, it does take some time to get used to, but you eventually get used to it. Uh, wow. I've only got th those 25 rails, and that's it in my inventory. Just that little bit took almost 200 rails. So let's get all those guys in here again. Oh, I need to get rid of you. I need to set you down somewhere. I'm going to need a lot more you. I got to sell military signs. Uh, because I'm going to need to set it all up here and then eventually pour it over here. Then I got to figure out where do I want intersections to be? Where do I want things to be set? So what I'm probably going to do is just have this come out and go whip and whip. Well, I'm going to go vertical here. Uh, here, here. Just two lanes, basically. And... Oh, man, for this, I'm probably going to have a, all those pump jacks sit up there. I'm going to have, like, a big facility. This is going to be, like, my main fuel yard. And once those get done, I'll probably expand it even further to do all my fuel processing and then ship it wherever I need to go. But we're going to set all that up for next time. And I'm actually quite happy that I've actually got enough room to plan the train station. I'm very happy. Ah, let's actually make uh, one of those little uh, carts or two, if I can. Iron gears. I should have a ton of those. Still can only make one. Oh, I'm missing steel. So let's turn those on, get some more steel coming down, because I'm going to need to be stealing from it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I really need to get some red lines in here to get that down to there. I'll probably leave this still yellow. This is going to be a red, but this is going to stay yellow. Uh, this has been a really long episode. <laughs> But I hope it's been somewhat insightful, especially for the trains. And like I said, we are just tapping the surface. And lab's almost done, but... Oh, man. I will never... You know what? I'm just going to let this go so I can go. I am never going to get outros just right. As I was saying, I hope this has been insightful in some way. If not entertaining, maybe my goof-ups is just something you can laugh at. <laughs> if you're entertained, I'm happy. And we'll figure that out next time. But... This is going to be the episode for today. We're going to call this Saves number six, even though this is the fifth level Let's Play. And if you've enjoyed what you've been seeing so far, in any way, laugh at me, laugh at what I'm doing. 
or maybe you are finding this fun and interesting, just go ahead and think about giving that like. If you like what you see and you want to see more, go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you got any kind of comments, you want to see me play another game, you got a question, uh, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. I will respond. Uh, it may take me a little bit because it'll be on my phone for at least about a week. Uh, a lot of things going on. I'm kind of waiting for more Windows updates to pop in, but uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Later, everybody.